Hey y'all, this is just an update. Um, I got my Ofna. I got it put together. If you look here, the STRC. I got the um, dog bone. I'm missing a spacer, so the front upper A arm has a little bit of give in it. Put some electrical tape up there, maybe to try and fill in that scap. Um, I got. I just put a 13 tooth pinion. Uh, when I first got it, I was running 11, and I put a 13 on it. It gives me all the speed I need for a 1 scale track, is w that's which I run at. Um, right now, I got the slash, slash two wheel drive tires on it, which are my dad's. Actually, destroyed this one with the VXL on 3S. It's a nice split right there. I super glued it back together. But this is what I mainly run in. But this is, I want to run on the street. So yeah, that. Um, I have the DE Racing. I'm gonna put that on, and I can already feel that it saved the chassis from some things. Uh, I think, it, um, yeah. As far as that, that's that's doing good. I'm fixing to go outside and make a running video of it. The um, the motor. I have a Intigy motor and fan, heat sink and fan, and that it runs about 108, 110 degrees, and the ESC runs about 120. It's a little high for the ESC for me, but there's no fan I can put on it. And the motor, the motor's about right for me. Most people like to run theirs in the upper, near 150 and stuff. I think that's too hot. I don't know. I just don't like it to get that hot. I might also shred these tires. I want to get some trenchers and have bow fighters, bow fighters and uh, calibers that are almost brand new. And you know, I might just make a video of how long these can last on the road. But this, this thing goes about 40. I get. I want to say. Yeah. For some reason, the um front is riding lower. I might need to. Drop the back end a little bit, and then um, but yeah, I'm, uh, and also I would like to say congratulations to all the guys. Uh, I think jet lag, um, Jang, um, nine five six 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 six. I think that's I think that's his name. Um, who else? A uh, squirrel. I'd like to congratulate all of them for making the um the RC. Um, top videos or whatever from RC News. I'd like to congratulate them for that. Um, also, let me know what you think about the new video editing software I got. I made a video of it. I haven't taken it off yet while this is being shot. But yeah, I'm fixing to go take a run, make a running video of this outside on the street and stuff. I'm, I'm gonna when I get to my dad's house, I will make one of the track. But yeah, this castle motor just destroys my batteries. It drains them so quick. And um. So you only hit a puddle with it because it rained here recently. But yeah, um, let's see, I'll zoom in on that. On the kit itself, yeah, you can see the STRC. Um, um, top plate right there. I got orange wheel nuts, which you can see on the back wheel and on the front wheel. Yeah. This kit's irritating to work on. It's kind of hard to work on. Like I found the E Revo much easier to work on, and which and which has thousands of extra parts that I don't see a need for on there, like extra screws, and like the slash four by four, six screws, and you're in the diff. And th these are a little bit harder to work on. But yeah, my M11. I'm fixing to make a uh, running video with the Jim Jenny Slipper. Comment, rate, and subscribe for me.